City certainly lived up to its name last night with Nashville taking home plenty of Grammy Awards in both country music, blues, Americana and bluegrass. As News Channel 5's Jesse Knudsen reports, a handful of those Grammys were produced thanks to an effort to save an aging building on Music Row. Five of the Grammys that were won last night were recorded right here at RCA Studio A, a studio that was almost demolished. The way this room was designed is it was designed so that you have a lot of consistency through the room acoustically. For decades, the music being produced out of this room had inspired and brought plenty of success. Put a few microphones out here and whatever you got was what you got. Dolly to Waylon to Willie, this studio has seen it all. You fill the whole room up and Everybody better play it right and the singer better sing it right. But Studio A was almost demolished and replaced with luxury yeah, condos. That is until Aubrey Preston, along with Chuck Elkin and Mike Kerb, stepped in to buy the building and keep the music going, with artists like Chris Stapleton and Jason Isbell stepping in and producing amazing music. That does a lot and will do a tremendous amount to help ensure that this building is never at risk again. From a room, volume one, Mr. Chris Stapleton. Last night, Stapleton and Isbell, along with producer Dave Cobb, won a total of five Grammys. I don't think anybody could have ever imagined that five Grammys would come from last night you know, from the work that they're doing here. Stapleton's album, From a Room, Volume 1, is referring to Studio A, and Isbell's The Nashville Sound is referring to the music made in Studio A, showing the historical significance of a place that still inspires to this day. Nashville is full of unique places, and this is one of the most important ones. It's the last RCA studio like this that is still functioning. Brenda Colliday was ecstatic to see that two projects recorded in this room brought home five Grammys. It's still serving its purpose and there's no greater thing for a historic building than to continue to serve its original purpose and do so at the highest level like this one does. The cool thing is Dave tells me uh, we're just getting started so who knows where that goes. In Nashville, Jesse Knudsen, News Channel 5.